Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to the class. Students, in our previous video, we had discussed about the mollusks. So you are seeing here the example of mollusca, that is octopus, you know. And next one is phylum echinodermata, you know that echinosterm means spines and dermis means skin. So there is presence of skin on there. Th there is presence of spines on their skins and true siloms form three specialized structure that is water vascular and hemal and perihemal system and locomotion, respiration and ingestion of food takes place through tube feeds in these organisms. Example is starfish. You are seeing here starfish and the starfish structure and here you are seeing the echinus that are on the water surface, sea cucumber that is also an example of that. Echinodermates. Next one is protocardita. Students, first cardita or lower cardita, these are called, and notochord is present. And notochord is a long rod like support structure, and cranium or brain box is absent in protocardita. And animals are relatively very strong and they have not true jaws, and they are extremely marine. Animals, example, bolenoglasses, and after bolenoglasses, that is hardmania. You are seeing here. Now, next one is amphioxus, that is also a protocardates. And second, phylum cordata. Here you are seeing the phylum protocardata. Here, after the protocardata, you will come on the point phylum cordata. So, cordata, its character is notochord is present there and dorsal hollow central nervous system and pharyngeal gill clefts are there. And in chordata, the hemoglobin is contained in the red blood capsules. Okay. Now a post anal tail, which is posterior prolongation of the body behind the anus is always present in the embryos, though it may be lost in some adults. Okay. Now, vertebrata, you know that this one is the advanced class. Now, all vertebrates have the enlarged brain which is enclosed into the cranium or that cranium is called the brain box. And notochord is present in embryonic stage and it is replaced by the vertebral column in adult in case of vertebrata. And generally, body is divided into head, neck, trunk and tail and elementary canal with mouth to anus and liver and pancreas is present and respiration by the gills in lower vertebrates but in few lungs are there and excretory systems are paired kidneys and endocrine system is well developed in vertebrates and sexes are separate. So vertebrates are grouped into five kingdoms, sorry five classes that are PCs, you know, PCs. So PCs, characters, its characters are the body is laterally Compressed and covered by dream scales are plates and dermal exoskeletal and is typically present but occasionally secondarily lost. And notochord is replaced by the cartilaginous or bony vertebral column and well developed skull and a system of visceral arcs present. And one pair of pectoral and pelvic fins are present here in PCs and heart is of two chambered, it is very important. Now next one is lateral line system is developed and nervous system is well developed. Now next is aquatic cold blooded animals are there in feces and they lay eggs. Okay. Next is here the example that is Escoliodon and here you are seeing the Torpedo, Libio Rohita and Hippocampus. These are the feces. Now next one is the Amphibia. So Amphibia you know. Amphi means both, that means these organisms can survive on aquatic regions and terrestrial both. So most of the species live in water as well as land and eyes are movable eyelids. They have movable eyelids, eardrum external in frogs and toads and mouth with small teeth and the protrustible here, protrustible tongue is there. And two pair of limbs for walking is present there in case of these amphibians. And heart is of three chambered, it is very important. And in PCs that was two chambered, but in case of this, it is three chambered. 
with auricle and two auricle and one ventricle. It is very important. And respiration by gills and lungs and skin and body temperature variable. So these are called the poiclothermic here. External fertilization is takes place. So they lay eggs and frog, toad, ichthyophis, salamander. These are the examples of the arthropods. Here you are seeing. Now they lay eggs and egg is protected by the calcareous shell. And these are the cold blooded animal. Exa here in case of uh, reptilia you will see that here in reptilia you will see that heart is completely here four chambered and two auricle and partially divided into ventricles and one pair of aortic arcs are nucleated rbc is present and respiration by lungs 12 pair of cranial nerves excretory system here excretion takes place by the metanephric kidneys and uric acid is main excretory product and cloaca is present egg is protected by the calcareous cells and these are the cold blooded animals you are seeing here the wall lizard and snakes these are the reptiles and tortoise also you are seeing here tortoise its cells con consist of a rounded dorsal carapy and flat ventral plastron joined at sides has four limb and hind limbs come out here from the anterior and posterior apertures here in this diagram you are seeing and head is pointed with eyes and external nostrils mouth is without teeth here in case of crocodile that is also an example of the reptiles okay and here next one is the class avis so body is divided into head neck trunk and short tail and body is covered with the feathers and that are of five types drawn feathers philo plumus and bristles powder down feathers and counter feathers here counter feathers so body is streamlined for the flying and skin soft and loses scales on the lower part of the hind limbs and toothless jaws are found with a horny covering and large eyes are lateral each surrounded by a bony ring of sclerotic plate here you are seeing a bird that belongs to the avis and here heart is four chambered it is very important in avis heart is four chambered and only left ovary is present in females and urinary bladder is absent and females are oviparous fertilization that is internal and eggs with large yolk okay. so the example is pigeon and another birds that is in apes apes now this topic is completed students our next topic is mammalia we will discuss this into next video till then thank you thank you everyone